Sober, no smoking Redditor, what do you do to kill time? Stare at different screens at different times. Sometimes at the same time. This is the truest one I've seen. Can't have thought in head when three screens playing at same time. I've never felt as validated as someone who's been smoke free and pretty much doesn't drink anymore for five months, thank you. Hey, same here I thought I was doing sober wrong. Turns out, I'm killing it. Reading this on my laptop while watching TV and texting on my phone. I do that and smoke. A few months ago I noticed I had a real problem when at one point I realized I had my school laptop and was in class with video notes playing, my personal laptop with a late assignment, my phone with a book on it, and I was playing and talking in a console party with music playing through my headset. I try to take a lot more walks now. Walks are great for listening to an audiobook, while browsing Reddit, while watching YouTube and Pip. Scrolling social media is my time killer. I'm on Reddit right now in fact because I'm procrastinating on a writing project. I'm also procrastinating doing a writing project right now laughing out loud. Sit. Ah sitting, the great leveler. From the lowliest peasant to mightiest pharaoh, who does not enjoy a good sit? Who does not enjoy a good sit? Personally, I prefer a good lay. Smithers asking Bart for the time always gets me. What comes after 12? Sigh, 1. No, after 12. This is my favorite comment in the thread. Play games. Same here. Same. The entire day laughing out loud. Non-gamers of Reddit, what do you do to kill time? Drink and smoke. The entire day laughing out loud. Reddit, Instagram, eating, exercise, playing sports, watching sports, going for a walk, car ride, music, YouTube, talking to friends slash family and the most important one hour for masturbating. Moreover, you can also put your time in a few art, drawing, crafting, dancing or whatever you like. I desire to forge knives. From North Wind Mind to Tail Shrine. From Riften's Beggar's Row. From Dragon Bridge to Knife Point Ridge. And Winterhold in Snow. From Riverwood to Silver Blood. From Broken Towers Gate. From High Moon Hall to Boulder Fall. And Golden Glow Estate. From Nightingale Across the Pale. From Fulcret's Flaming Forge. From Greymore Fort to Windhelm Port. And over Robber's Gorge. I've journeyed long, and journeyed strong. And fought with orcs and men. And when I'm bored, I get my sword. And do it all again. Didn't know Sprague was an Elder Scrolls fan. Who isn't? Yeah, but enough to know a ton of places in Skyrim? Not super common places either. Yeah I was going to say all of those are Google able. But after rereading, I think that's because I know all of them. Games aren't fun for me. Don't know why. I enjoy watching other people play them for a little bit, but I think I'm not competitive enough to really get into it. I get bored after 10 minutes or so. Edit, I'm actually a bit older so I haven't tried any games for a very long time, but I did play Myst a little bit. It was cool, but I still didn't enjoy playing it for very long. I think I played it for two days then lost interest. I'm sure newer games are quite a bit more entertaining. Wait. Drinkers drink and smokers smoke to kill time? Edit. Apparently, for smokers, yes. And for those who quit, filling the time used in smoking is the problem. Probably why original poster asked. It's something not spoken about with addiction. Boredom is the sometimes the main factor pushing you just to do something. I come from a rural town of about 300 people. I can say with 100%, Certainty that boredom and loneliness are two driving factors of addiction. Whether it's drinking, smoking, gambling or drugs, boredom plays a big part in driving people toward it. And sadly, it's a quick leap to alcoholism from there. Everything is boring. You know what would be less boring, if we got drunk and then went to the movies. Then it becomes drinking with mini golf. 
than seeking out drinking activities like bar trivia. Then it's, well I'm not going to the movies unless we get some drinks first. Until you're just, fine not being bored at home drinking and playing games or watching TV. At that point, everything is boring without alcohol. Alcohol makes everything more fun, right? Even doing nothing is better with a beer in your hand. So then, you don't want to do anything where you can't drink, or it's not socially acceptable to drink. And this isn't an alcohol-only thing. It majorly goes for weed too. Or pills or what have you. Trying to replace the boring parts of life with a vice is definitely one of the worst things you can do. But man, it's so socially acceptable to do just that. F I really got to drink less. Yeah. That hit a little too close to home. Learn to be comfortable doing nothing. Drinking less will follow. Same. I used to go to a bar with my classmates after school. Like three times a week tops. With a lockdown we can't, so we would sit in a park drinking, eventually I took it home as well. Drinking a few beers every night. I noticed in the lockdown I went from just two beers or glasses of wine four times a week to every night six beers to eight beers. I decided to quit drinking for at least as long as the lockdown last cause I was slash am on a slippery slope to alcoholism. Now I'm just bored all the time. The longer my wife and I go without drinking, the more we realize how there is nothing positive about it. Even the taste is acquired. I was just thinking about this with SIGs for me. I used to listen to music and eat food and drink coffee and it was fun. Now all of those feel empty without a smoke. Having coffee? Let's get the outdoor table so I can have a smoke. The song playing is really good, let me have a SIG with it. Also always having to sit outdoors in bars, cafes and restaurants, just so I'm not deprived of feeling deprived. My mom struggled with drinking coffee once she quit smoking. It just wasn't the same. She also didn't dare to go to pubs with friends for like a year. She resisted but unfortunately replaced smoking with eating. 40 pounds up within the first year or so. She still haven't lost those and it's been 8 years. I had to learn to live again when I quit smoking. Everything I did involved smoking. As soon as I woke up, after I ate, when I get bored, before I went to bed. It was certainly a struggle. I was hooked on meth for 4 years, and it was honestly easier to quit than nicotine. I'll be 4 years sober in July, and now officially 6 months free from nicotine. Meth took approximately 9 days to get over it. Smoking. Well that was a harsh 4 effing weeks. That was an intense mind workout for sure. As far as being bored and thinking about smoking, I picked up some really good hobbies. Running and hiking. I'm now in love with nature and keeping myself healthy. I also picked up on dieting because I gained 20 pounds after I stopped smoking. I replaced one craving with another, food. Now I just watch my calories and eat healthier foods, I'm down 16 pounds from the start of my diet. I've been doing 63 days now. And I eat to kill time. And I kill to eat time. Agreed. There are so many nights where I crack open the wine out of boredom. The times I drink, the most is when I'm absolutely bored out of my mind and want to kill time. Smokers for sure. 100%. Stop smoking just before Christmas. If I have a small time gap with no content, explosive cravings. This might or might not work for you, but have you tried filling those gaps with just small bouts of exercise? A couple of push-ups, squats or jumping jacks might be enough to get that thought out of your mind with the added benefit of getting your brain juices flowing and acting as a resetting break for whatever you were doing before. Of course, YMMB and not everyone has the opportunity or environment that enables this, but I've heard that this works for some people. You got this homie, thumbs up. Dude for the love of God don't start again. So jealous. You've made it months. Lighting up again would never be worth the reset. Used to smoke like a chimney when I was living in hostel slash dorms during college. But every time I went back home for a break, I had no urge to smoke. That's when I realized I just smoked to pass time not because I actually needed it or even liked it. You are not addicted, that's fortunate. I wake up in the morning and run for a cigarette. The first puff with a sip of coffee is better than sex. That's the oh crap moment when you realize you are a nicotine fiend. 
That sig after sex or after eating oh baby that's nice. I agree, but it's so fleeting. I smoked for 10 years, quit for a year, and then got addicted to nicotine again for about 4 additional years. I'm at about 3 years completely nicotine free now. Was a cigarette better than sex at times? Yes, absolutely, but that pleasure lasted about 15 seconds. When I have sex, I feel great for the rest of the day, sometimes even into the next day. If I exercise a few days in a row, I'll feel good for a whole week. I've realized I prefer the enduring good feelings over a dragon you have to chase forever. As a smoker I agree. Yup. We all do that. I absolutely smoke to kill time. Put some headphones in, head up to the garden for 10 to 15 minutes and it's like a bit of a reset. If you do it right can kill up to 20 years. That's honestly what it is, a reset. Getting fed up sitting down all morning? Go out for some fresh air and a smoke. I've tried those resets without a cigarette in my hand, and it just doesn't work? I don't know. Edit, I know that nicotine is a drug, I know that it's an addictive drug, smoking cigarettes is bad for you, I'm not saying it isn't, geez. Edit 2, taking a time out from insufferable morons like the ones I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and the ones replying to this comment is also one of my reasons for going out for a smoke. Go out for some fresh air and a smoke I get what you mean, but that feels like an oxymoron haha. -ha. I always make that joke to mates. Ha ha. That makes me feel a bit sad. Battle depression mostly. And try to keep my kids alive. More power to you stranger. You're probably not giving yourself enough credit for those two very important things. You got this. Remember to water them regularly. Kids need water to live, and they like it too. Don't forget electrolytes, it's what kids crave. I want you to know someone read this. You are doing good. You are doing your best. You are seen. Thank you, I appreciate it very much. Have an awesome day slash evening. Are you I? Are your children teenagers who you see making bad choices but you have to let them? safely, fail and figure things out on their own which adds even more to your depression and anxiety? This crap is hard. I applaud anyone making it one day at a time. Make speaker boxes for people. Take care of unwanted dogs, yard work. Volunteer to help others. Home improvements. Mainly spend most my free time with my son, biking, fishing, Pokemon Go. Whatever he wants to do. Hope you have a great night. Pokemon Go is a big one. Gets you out of the house too. My son loves it. He's a level 38 and I'm a level 42. It keeps both of us busy. We both get bored and eat too much. Hope your day is good. I love Pokemon Go. Keeps me interacting with the community during the pandemic. Especially since, I got post-COVID syndrome and I can't physically get out at all. My life may have fallen apart but I have Pokemon Go and plants, so that's something. What kind of speaker boxes? Yeah that sounds cool show us some. This one is cute thank you. Do random crap like chase the neighbor's cat wearing a gas mask, you know, the usual. Why is your neighbor putting their cat in a gas mask? Better question, where did your neighbor find a cat gas mask? You can use dog gas mask for cats, it fits well. Chernobyl Chernobyl Drink water, drink tea, find a cup of coffee. If it is meant as a pause, I feel the heat or cool in the glass, enjoy the steam or fragrance, really taste the water there are many different waters. It can be a mini meditation to search for a water fountain or find a coffee shop with cucumber water. This is my pause and the desperate reach for my water bottle as I process whatever just happened. Drink the water, pause, respond. Whenever I don't know what to do for longer than about 30s, I find myself making a cup of tea. I found my people here. Picking up new free time activities just to think wow this is fun. And then never doing them again. 
Listen to podcasts, do puzzles, work on my yard, cook slash try new recipes, play with my dog, play video games, watch movies, read. I was never a smoker, but when I cut out drinking, I basically had to relearn my hobbies and that I liked the hobbies for themselves and drinking didn't actually improve upon them slash make life less boring like I had become dependent on thinking. In fact, I get a lot more out of my hobbies sober, I learn and remember more in general and I wake up productive every day so I have more time to do new things. Find some hobbies man. I do lapidary, paint, and wood burning. I love looking for rocks to use in my lapidary stuff. Gets me out of the house. Have you ever done any rock hounding? I really enjoy it. Also, I've never considered myself creative or the artsy type but I can tell you more about the wood burning and painting if you're interested. It's mostly tracing and painting by copying the original that you print out. The results are usually pretty cool though. Good on you for being sober. I've had problems with alcohol for a long time and I'm finally dealing with it also. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.